Jo here from Rhythm and Tunes Piano School, just uh, finishing up in the studio for the evening and wanted to jump on here quickly and share a few things that have been um, going on. So uh, I think that if you um, are someone who watches the news regularly, you would be forgiven for being in a complete puddle of depression at the moment things um things aren't good are they so uh i try and limit um the amount of news i watch i will admit that but uh, i think it's also important to know what's going on um so uh i also think that um we need to balance out all of that bad news with some good things. And so I just wanted to share a few good things that I'm celebrating and I would love to know what you are, um, what good things have happened for you today or this week or even over the last few weeks. So uh, it's, um, I honestly think the way that we have um, uh, evolved <laughs> over, the, over the millions of years, um, our, our brain seems to have been wired just to, uh, to look at the negative and so it takes a lot of effort and a lot of energy sometimes to focus on the positive so um, there's just a few little things that I thought I would share with you and the first is this really really cute little uh, class of kids that I've started over the last um, the last little while and uh, two of them have had uh, uh, lessons before and um, and uh, have decided to come and try this way and one of them haven't hasn't had any lessons before but her older sister had played the piano and so she has you know developed some of the um coordination required to to play and so um yeah she's um she's going really well in the same class as these other girls who have had prior experience so uh it, it's just really lovely to see them bounce in each week i have them on a monday night so i had them last night and uh, they bounce in with their books ready to show me uh, the song that they've learnt for the week and there's nothing better than seeing a child's enthusiasm um, for music and uh, we just had a really fun time exploring exploring um, a brand new song so so that was the first thing uh, the second little um, thing that I'm feeling pretty grateful for is uh, this little class, oh not this little class, this, this class, um, I've forgotten the second thing, I've gone straight to the third thing, I should have written it down. <laughs> so I've, been, I've been teaching since 9.30 this morning, so uh, bear with me. So um, I had a class this afternoon of four uh, adult students and um, all four of them have uh, have played as as kids, and we were just having a conversation around uh, whether or not they're looking at music any differently. Because I do find that people who come through this program, even though they have maybe learned how to read music a little bit, uh, they end up looking at music through a different um, lens, I suppose. And so I asked a couple of them, you know, who have. Um, They've gone, they've gone through the decoding process and uh, what we call the, the reading program. So I asked a couple of them whether or not they were um, looking at their music differently and they enthusiastically nodded and said, yes, definitely. Uh, they would never have thought that they could um, uh, read music or decode music as quickly as they are and that when they used to try and do it, it just used to take so long. It still takes some time. It's not a, this is not a magic wand. It still takes them some time, but the message that I was getting from one of them in particular was, you know, they're not, they're not sitting there trying to figure out one single note and then the next single note and then the next single note. And it's, it's just a, a much more efficient, uh, process that um, that they're going through in order to to decode and memorize uh, their music so that's really really great 
Um, and I still can't remember the second thing, but it must have been super amazing. <laughs> and uh, I'll have to um, I'll have to jump on next time and and let you know what that was. So um, I wanted to also let you know that next week already is the next round of music on steroids. We commence on the 26th of August. Uh, I think it's uh, Wednesday at 12:30. Wednesdays at 12.30. So if you are interested in music on steroids, please, please, please reach out on this um, page as soon as possible uh, so that we can get you all sorted with all your um, resources that you're going to need and uh, get you all booked in. The other thing I'm working on at the moment is a kids workshop um, specifically for, for kids who might be um, in uh, uh, lockdown in Victoria at the moment, but also for any children who are homeschooled. I'll be running a, a kids workshop uh, during the day and uh, you will hear more about that soon as well. So um, for the moment though, I'm going to go and grab some dinner and I will see you on here next time. Have a great evening. See you then. Bye.